Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for um, <clears throat> October 8th to October 14th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that uh, this will be a general reading for the Libra star sign and it's not going to be your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best, guys, to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, in their positions. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, um, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of uh, my services as well as their pricings. And uh, one more thing, uh, the October videos are already out on the YouTube channel. Um, if you want to, you can check them out. And if you find them helpful and you want to know even more about your month, then um, there is a extensive monthly tower reading, uh, which can be purchased for just a dollar uh, forty nine. <clears throat> Again, from the from the website and there we are specifically focusing on the career and relationship topics for the star sign for the month of October. So we are going to first to make the tarot reading for the week and we have a, a four position spread. The, fir uh, the, the first position here is about the topic of your week. Libras. The second position will regard to the core of the situation or what is provoking the topic of the week. The second card will be, uh, the third card, excuse me, will be about the challenges which may cause predicaments or they will cause predicaments. So it's something that you have to work out. And the last one is going to be the guidance that Saro has to offer for you. So the last, uh, the, the first card, excuse me, that will be the Seven of Cups. So somewhat this is going to be um, a very, how can I place it? Kind of like a, a, a week with a, a big amplitude, if I may say that way, uh, with uh, amplitude that goes up and down. It is because the Seven of Cups shows insecurity or kind of like uncertainty, not insecurity, but uncertainty into one's visions. Uh, very important when we do have the Seven of Cups is that you need to be very objective about the, the opportunities you have and about the limits that you can go for. <clears throat> Because uh, the the traditional way of how the Seven of Cups manifests in our life, especially as a topic, is that we may kind of like uh, get ahead of ourselves. We may start building up these celluloid towers of ours as goals and as as, as a dreams, etc., etc. And uh, um, on the po on the positive side, this card it is not something irreversible. And uh, as a matter of fact, it is something that will just additionally um, put stress on us should we give ourselves away to the um, to the dreaminess and to the kind of like a celluloid expectations that may kind of that we may um, adopt throughout the week so it is very important here that you are being grounded and you kind of like a uh, rely uh, your judgment and your decisions and in general you rely you know your approach moving on forward either into your relationship or either into your career based on the logical explanation <clears throat> of the undertaking rather than you know believing into fairy tales um, especially career wise I will kind of focus a little bit more about career here because this card may point to fallacies and what I mean is that you may kind of um, involve yourself into a fallacious deal or a fallacious schemes that are promising a lot but if you kind of put the toils behind digging up a little bit more about what this is all about uh, you may find out you know that you have invested into something very shady so this card here throughout this week, Libra kind of asks you to be very conservative 
when it comes to your career uh, and uh, on a paper everything is going to seem great you know even better than you have expected but it, the paper does not pay the bills and the paper does not create happiness in our relationship so it all falls to that how much you can go for but not how much it is offered to you and the reason for that well, the reason why we do have the seven of cups for you that will be the nine of wands so as a uh, root of the situation this card uh, reflects to a recent let's say minor changes that you have done into your routine into your relationship into your career uh, mostly um, this card mostly affect those kind of changes that uh, are making your life a little bit more easier and a little bit more comfortable and by making those recent changes you know either in your schedule or in your working place or with the way how you handle your relationships in general uh, you may have discovered you know that you do have additional time for additional undertakings and this is where the seven of uh, cups takes place where you know now you you have more means to work with that is the thing and by having all means to work with that could um, implant in yourself uh, a feeling of being almighty and that is something obviously you have you should not rely on important with the nine of uh, wands when we're talking about this week is that whenever you reach a conclusion or you do have a certain proposition from a person to go out dating you know or for a new job for I don't know for a certain private project etc etc is to very patiently you know um, And, and analyze the conditions under what this undertaking is going to go for because uh, as I said there is a, a big chance that could be something shady behind it and uh, you don't want to fall your to fall you know yourself in those kind of shady schemes and um, the shady schemes are about the career you know in relationship it could manifest with a, a false emotions and these false, false emotions may not be from the other person that you start dating okay they could come from you um, in a sense of that that person could introduce you with the very first meeting you have but the more meeting your meetings and datings you have with them uh, the more you realize that uh, this is kind of you know a mistake and it's not really gonna work out very well so it's kind of like uh, important here as well not to deceive yourself when it comes to this specific week uh, the next card that will be about the challenges that you have to take and we do have the page of wands so this is a, a challenge of being a bit restricted uh, <clears throat> The page of wands is feeling very miserable when it comes to that the page needs to follow a certain rules and a certain code of conduct. And uh, in that specific case for you Libras, it does look like that the rules will be as well something that restricts, uh, you know, the manifestation of uh, your very big dreams and very big ideas that you may have either relationship wise or career wise but also the page will present you with some unexpected surprises here throughout the week which you may find it very difficult to align to your uh, routine and to your you know the the way of how you handle the week in general important when we are having the page of wands as a challenging position is that you should be rather more open to mitigate with the newness and not with a specific newness but with everything new that comes in your life uh, this in a very superficial level this card may point that it will be a challenging for you to accept a certain news or a certain notification that comes in your way but as a challenging that doesn't mean um, it doesn't mean that it's going to be impossible it means that you have to overcome it in a certain way and uh, this card here signifies that your ideas uh, in general regarding relationship and career may face a certain blockage and that's why you may fall into a state of daydreaming here you know trying to find a way how to simply manifest them and when it comes to the page the only way to manifest the dreams should page should the page face a certain wall is by making the necessary changes to do so 
or uh, said with another words is if um, our partner in relationship does not share our dreams well it's time to leave if uh, our part if our boss doesn't share you know our expectations and does not fulfill our drive for career uh, manifestation then it's time to seek another boss so simply this is how the page works out and that is another thing which is going to contribute further to the uh, daydreaminess because you know as uh, we will start daydreaming what if we were in a different place you know or you Libra what if we decided or you Libra decided a, a different thing here when you had the chance to make a, a certain you know readaptations of your daily routine so that will be uh, just looking at these three cards I could summarize that that week will be a, re a week of retrospection it will be a week of self analysis and it will be a week of uh, def uh, defining how further you can go with your current undertakings uh, then the last card here is going to be regarding the guidance that Tarot has to offer should you follow it or should you not follow it that is uh, entirely up to you and we do have the king of wands so the king of wands it's uh, it it asks you to be confident in uh, in your capabilities it asks you as well to be um enthusiastic about a, a future performance and a future um a future manifestations but the king of wands is not a fool the king of wands very well know there are uh, the the limitations of its capabilities however the king always seeks a, a way how to uh, kind of expand its capabilities but that way is not a, a celluloid way so what we do have here is that your vision is not wrong maybe the idea how to manifest that vision is a little bit off the uh, the environment you're finding yourself at and the means that you possess here but if you hold on to that vision and you believe in yourself you do have that self-confidence that eventually you will get there um, I'm sure Libras here that you are going to find a way how to do so and that well way very well may be uh, discovered here in this week October 8th to October 14th so that said is uh, the tarot reading for you for the October now uh, October 8th October 14th now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, they are going to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to um, or try to avoid so let's see what we got here so the first card this is going to be the road so the road speaks for decision making it speaks for finding a way as well so it is what i said at the end that you may find a way but let's see what we got next that will be the coffin the coffin sits for ending it sits for the word stop it sits for uh completion and the next card this is going to be the scythe. So the scythe doesn't have a specific meaning, but in this case, as a third card, it sometimes could sit for harvesting, all right? It sits for going away to harvest. And uh, what I can make up from these three cards is that you will finally find a way how to complete a certain harvest. So it's about reaping a fruits of a labor. So this will be a week for you, Libra, where uh, you will have a, a huge time to deliberate upon what you want for yourself in general in life from your relationship and from your career based on recent adaptations you have done you know regarding either career or relationship wise realizing that in certain ways you are constrained and that basically in the place you're finding right now yourself uh, you can't unfold to a maximum potential however this week as i said deliberation on how you can achieve that and further changes needs to be initiated in your daily routine you know into your career and into your relationship what is um, what is very positive here in this reading is that because this is the root of the situation the root means that this is what everything is found is founded on so it's about the conscious changes you do and you can 
further exert them so you can continue on doing those changes in your career and into your relationship fields until you have it the way you want it. So that being said, Libras, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for, September, for October 8th to October 14th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, guys, this is just a general reading for Libra Star Signs. And I did my best to explain you the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you again to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you personally, then that is a matter of a private reading. And for private readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.